you want to end up with your feet where your shoulder blades are. Hard and fast. That would be a good name for a movie. Yeah, if you teamed up like Bo Jackson and Brian Bosworth. Yeah, actually, that movie would probably be called Flabby and Hip Replacement. First of all, you got to figure out what kind of club you want to start. What are you going to be clubbing? Are you going to be clubbing cavemen? Are you going to be clubbing British bobbies? Are you going to be clubbing seals? And then taking their Heidi Klum on romantic escapades in Wisconsin? Ah, uh, America's dairy land. Nothing binds lovers quite like cheese. A club without the right direction is a misguided stick. Master Wham said that. He also said, wake me up before you go-go. Master Wham was the king of clubs. I mean, not the card, but he was a card, though. He was quite a joker. And if you called him a card, you would be dealt with. I took Master Wham three-day intensive on clubbing. It was called Wham Bam Slam. 97. Once you've set your sights on what you're going to be clubbing, now you need a good piece of wood to start with. Wood. I said wood. That's right. Clubs are made of wood. I'd like a good enchanted tree. You know, something that, uh, you know, has a has a good positive spirit behind it. Maybe something that was struck by lightning that killed your father. I really do not suggest building your club out of morning wood. Mostly because it's very sappy. It leaks a lot. No matter how much you shellac it, it does not last. Personally, I always like to use a good piece of hard tiger wood. Not to be confused with hard tiger woods. He's good with clubs, but he's not good for making a club out of. I've tried it. Those two years when he took off and kind of working on his swing, he was actually learning how to walk again. Sorry, buddy. From there, just go nuts. Do whatever you want. Whatever you're going to be using the club for. Just go total Captain Caveman on it. Maybe you got little secret compartments in it with, with other weapons or snacks. If you're going to be on a long trip or something like that, it's nice to have a little snack compartment. Make sure you put a grip on it because the last thing you want to do is go to use your club and just be like, Ow! Whoa. Hey, nice little spear hog. Okay, buddy. Calm down. Wish I had something to beat you with. More importantly than starting your club is finishing your club. You go to face down an electric leprechaun and a leprechaun. Those little suckers are like Colin Farrell. They are little, obnoxious, and really good with women. You go to bonk one of those 10,000 volt bad luck charms with an unfinished, ungrounded club, you are gonna find yourself on your butt in a puddle of gold, if you know what I mean. Thanks for the question, Brian. I look forward to going clubbing with you soon. hey ya 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 this episode is brought to you by Toshiba and its Tech Battle Royale. Yours truly will throw down a new tech topic each week at fmbattleroyale.com. Geek fight! Naming your club is very important. Here's some club names that you want to avoid. Blue Oyster, Francis, Nouveau, One and Two, Wonder Boy, Stupid, Cheesecake, not a good name for a club. Kinling, the importance of being earnest. Billy, Billy Joel, Sam, Price, Fight. You think it's a good idea, but it's not. Yo, ninjas, check out the new Ninja Mart store. We got some new tees up there. Got a little something for the ladies on the site now. You're welcome, ladies.